good morning and welcome back to my channel i got my coffee i thought we could just kind of have a cozy morning together i have been really in the mood for some breakfast so i'm gonna make bunky and i a big breakfast we're gonna do some scrambled eggs and potatoes and bacon and all the things and then yesterday i actually went to trader joe's with my mom so i filmed a little haul which i'll insert here in just a second i also went to big lots because i wanted to see their christmas decor and y'all i have to tell you like big lots has some of my favorite Christmas decor that I have seen so far this year besides Kirkland's. I really, really liked Kirkland's decor as well, but it was just so precious. I ended up getting two things. So after I take you into Big Lots and show you all of their Christmas stuff, Trader Joe's give you that haul. I'm actually going to give you guys my Christmas decor haul of all the things that I have picked up so far this year. I really have not gotten too many things only because I have not pulled out all of my tubs yet. And I really want to go through all of that and see kind of like what I have and what I want to get rid of. But of course, y'all know, I have stopped into Hobby Lobby. I picked up a few things and then what I got at Big Lots. So we're just gonna have a cozy, fun morning together. So we're gonna go ahead and get started on breakfast and then I'll take you guys back to yesterday and share all of that. So while we're making breakfast, I wanna take a quick second and thank Meeson for sponsoring today's video. I don't think y'all will believe this, but I have never owned a stainless steel pan and I don't know what I have been doing with my life because y'all, this one, is amazing we've already cooked so many delicious recipes with it and the cool thing about the mise one is its thickness it is a five ply stainless pan which makes for more distance between the flame and the surface of the pan which allows the heat to evenly distribute that way it can retain longer and you can get a more even cook on whatever it is you're making and did y'all know that most 10 inch pans actually only offer eight inches of cooking space, but Mizen designed their pan to have 19% more cooking area than the other premium brands. And that means more space, more food and less overcrowding. And let me tell y'all about this incredible knife that they sent over. You guys are always asking about our knives and honestly, they're not that great. This one, Oh my goodness, it is incredible. It is so sharp, it will slice through anything. And the cool thing about Mizen is that they offer premium kitchen tools, but they are sold at affordable prices, which is awesome. And they gave me a discount code to give you guys. So be sure you head down to my description box and click the link. Use my promo code, which is just Jessica, and that's gonna get you 20% off your first order. So be sure you head down there, click that link, use code Jessica to get 20% off your first order. Okay, so Trader Joe's had some holiday things out, but mom and I were hoping that they had like all of their wreaths and like Christmas greenery. They didn't have that yet. And then that like, what was it called B? Party, party mix. Remember that can of like nuts that we got last year and it had the pretzels in there? Yeah, that pub snack mix or something. Oh my gosh, that is what I was hoping they had. And the guy did tell me that they are definitely gonna have it this year, he thinks, but it hasn't come out yet. So there is some stuff in there that they did not have, but I'll show you my little haul of the things that I did get. Okay, so I got these Peruvian potato chips. It's very hard to say, but they look so good. I kind of want to taste test them. You want to taste one? Yeah. One of my favorite things about Trader Joe's is always trying out like all of their different potato chips because I feel like they have the most like fun and unique ones. And I did not get these only because I don't really love like stuffing, but y'all saw the ones in there that I think were called like Thanksgiving leftover. Wow. Some potato chips. I yeah. should have got you those. I think I would have really liked that. Let me mm. try one of these. These are good. They're very, very <laughs> thin and crispy. These taste just like, um, Lay's regular potato chips. Yeah. But they're good. 
Okay, so this next thing I actually already opened in the car and took a little bite because I could not contain my excitement. So they did not have the pub mix, but they did have this rosemary mix. Mm. And y'all. Nuts about rosemary. <laughs> they're really good. Those aren't just peanuts either. There's an assortment of nuts. Yeah. In so there's cashews in here, almonds. What is this? I saw hazelnut on the side. Hazelnut. Let's just see. Macadamia nuts. Okay, so there's almonds, cashews, hazelnuts, pecans, and then there's rosemary and sea salt on there. Y'all, they're so good. And I love any kind of peanut, honestly. It's like my favorite little snack. These are delicious. Good, good. Do you want to try them? Yeah, I'll have one. Okay. Why not? We'll like taste test them as we go along. Oh, yeah. Definitely a nice little hint of rosemary herbaceousness. Yeah, it's not like overpowering, but uh -huh. it's perfect little like hint of it. It's almost kind of refreshing. Yeah, they're really good. Mm -hmm. This would be great for like a little charcuterie board for the holidays. Yeah, that, that would be, or I mean like any, I feel like it's a real, it almost feels like a nice little palate cleanser. Yes. <laughs> So fancy. It freshens everything up. So fancy, bonky. Mm -hmm. Okay, now this I'm very excited about. It says that it was a new product in store. And the reason I got this was because we were over at the farm on a Monday night having dinner and Bob, Bob, I said Bob. <laughs> what? <laughs> and mom made this roasted broccoli and she put the Trader Joe's, um, what's it called? Everything but the elote. Yeah. Yeah. Seasoning on there. And it tasted so good. Like almost cheesy. Well, now Trader Joe's has a cheese seasoning. Oh. And it literally says to put it on popcorn, vegetables, and pasta. Oh, wow. I cannot wait. And I want to make some popcorn and put this on there. Popcorn is a rarity around here. Yeah. So that was like probably my favorite thing that I got today. Really? Yes. I got Mr. B. Oh, some sweet. Little fried onion things so we can top all of our Thanksgiving recipes with them. Okay, everyone told us last year to try these. Do we ever get them? No, I don't Maple think so. leaf cookies with a smooth maple flavored cream filling. You're gonna be obsessed. I hope <laughs> it's, now Bonky, you know I'm not the biggest maple syrup fan. Okay, but I remember so many people telling us that their maple leaf cookies are like hands down the best ever. So I'm excited for you to try them. They look cool. Okay, oh I forgot. This is actually what I'm most excited about, okay? All right. A cranberry, sparkling cranberry and ginger beverage. Ah. Okay, and whenever I was checking out, the guy was like, you are going to love this. It's so good. And he said to make like a Moscow mule with this. And I was like, oh, that sounds so good. So I can't wait to try that. Little little lime wedge added in. Yes, also a very like festive little holiday drink, you know. Oh yeah, we'll have to make that, it that's it. like November and uh, December in a in a can. Yeah. Last but not least, this is Bunky surprise. You know, <laughs> for, like, for me? Yeah. You know, like I always like to get you a little treat wherever I go. Yes. This is Bunky's little treat. Okay. It's <laughs> <laughs> the ad advent calendar. Yes, or? you get a little chocolate. Every day. Heck yeah. I need, I've been missing my chocolate in my life.
y'all are gonna have to leave me a comment and tell me what you think about that Big Lots Christmas decor. Was it not so precious? So I'm gonna actually start with Big Lots and I forgot that I did get a few things from Walmart. So I have quite a decent size haul here. So I'm gonna try and go through it pretty fast. And if we have time, I'm going to film our dinner tonight because it's gonna be a very easy recipe. It's actually like the most requested recipe in my family from my mom. It's so, so easy, but everyone loves it. So I'm going to try and film that later as well. So this video has all of the things in it. But anyway, first thing that I got at Big Lots is this sign, of course, because you guys know my favorite word ever is joy. And I need another sign, like I need a hole in the head. But I feel like this one was just so unique and too beautiful to pass up. I love the snowflake. And then of course the plaid in here, it's just gorgeous. You can um, hang this if you wanted to, or you can just like sit it somewhere. I have lots of ideas of places that I wanna put this. And it was $12, so a great price. Also, I'm gonna try and limit how many times I say beautiful and cute and love it, but it's probably gonna be a lot. Now, this is the only other thing that I got at Big Lots, but once I show you what I got at Walmart, you're gonna see a theme here. I don't know what it is, but I have like this obsession with this type of tree this year. First of all, y'all know I love some green velvet and I decorate a lot with like these really beautiful deep greens at Christmas. I like to keep it very traditional. So I kind of have like my red tree and then like a very traditional tree. So anyway, I saw this one and y'all, it is just stunning. It is stunning, but it is $18. So I feel like it was kind of pricey, especially for big lots. So I'm kind of holding out to see if they have like a coupon that comes out and then I wanna go back and get another one or I did until I went to Walmart and they have like this exact same type of tree. Theirs are not velvet, but they're still so beautiful. I'll show you once we get there. And they are only like, I think $12, so a much better price. But anyway, I'm obsessed. It's beautiful. I had to have it. Okay, so now moving on to Hobby Lobby. If y'all remember last year, I did like my red and white flocked tree in our sunroom and it is one of my favorite trees. So I cannot wait to do it again this year. But last year, whenever I was decorating it, I kept running out of these little picks that have these little red balls on here. And so I wanted to make sure I got enough so that I would not run out this year. But also I found these, which have like these matte, I say white, but it's almost kind of like a creamy color, little ball in there. They are so, so pretty. So I got ample amounts <laughs> so that I don't run out. And then sticking with that red and white theme, um, I saw these little like faux presents and I just thought this was so pretty. It reminds me kind of like a country cottage Christmas, which is definitely the vibe that I love around Christmas time. This was $15 and then of course everything at Hobby Lobby is already 50% off. And they had this size and then one that's a little bit bigger. And then when I was in Hobby Lobby, like shopping for all of my fall decor, of course, you know, they already had all the Christmas and I saw these in there and I was like, okay, when it's Christmas time, I'm gonna go back and get this because I think it's just so adorable. So they have all of these different little, um, I say boxes, but, but I think it's actually called like a tree container. Anywho, they have lots of different ones to choose from, but I think this one is just adorable. I loved it. And honestly, I probably have a ton of trees that I could use to put in here, but I saw this other one. I'm gonna do a pan over cause it's way too big for me to hold and show you. And it literally fit in here perfectly. And I love the details of this one. It has like a little bit of that flocking on there, the little pine cones, a little bit of glitter. It's just so, so cute and it fit perfectly. So I got this Christmas tree to go in my little tree container and it's gonna be adorable. Okay, last but not least, I have Walmart and I picked up two things of ribbon, which I'm gonna show you. And then I'm gonna actually flip you guys around and show you the little Christmas trees. That way I can kind of show you in more detail. But I'm telling y'all, Walmart has stepped up their ribbon game. I found this one, which of course is gonna go on our red and white flocks tree. But I love how thick this one is and it has like that wire in there. So it's really good, like holds its shape. And then y'all know, I love that like traditional tartan Christmas plaid. It's so pretty. So I found this one and I haven't decided yet, but I might actually use it on our main tree in our living room. So here are the Christmas trees that I picked up from Walmart. And then of course that one is my big lights. Don't they look so pretty just all together? I love these colors. This one is more like gray and then has that gold 
peeking through. And then this one, of course, is like white and silver. This tiny red one was only $9.98. And then these were $12.98. Y'all, I'm dying laughing because I literally just got this sweater in the mail. It still has tags on it and everything somewhere. So if you see tags, just ignore. I wanted to try it on and I love it. Um, anyway, we did not end up making this recipe last night, but I'm about to make it right now. And I'm honestly so glad that I waited because it is raining outside today and it's like in the low 40s. It is so cold. It almost looks and feels like it's snowing so it's like the perfect day for something in the crock pot so we are gonna make my mom's white chicken chili and there are literally four ingredients and my mom always says how easy this is so it's like one of her favorite recipes because of how easy it is but everyone raves about it so i'm gonna get our ingredients out show you what's going in it. I think, sorry, this cord is like banging against there if it's loud. I think I'm gonna add in a little bit of like seasoning, maybe like some fajita seasoning, I'm thinking. So I'm gonna add my own little spin on it, but it's gonna be super simple. So let me get all the ingredients ready. Okay, so mom's recipe, she says about three chicken breasts. I only have two. So I'm going to add in just a little less of everything, but her recipe is three chicken breasts one entire thing of pepper jack cheese, two cans of great northern beans, do not drain them, just add them in, and then one jar of salsa. This is kind of a big jar, so I'm only gonna do about half of this. Um, and then like I told y'all, I found this packet in our pantry of this chicken taco seasoning, so I think I'm gonna add a little bit of this as well. You don't have to, it's not part of her recipe. But she did say you could do rotisserie chicken, and then you could just put this like in a pot on the stove. You don't even have to use a crock pot, but for simplicity, we're gonna do the crock pot and because it's warm and cozy. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this in, get this shredded, dump everything, and then we're gonna pop a lid on, let it cook on high for about four hours. Okay, so I only did about half the cheese because I want to add a little bit later once it cooks for a little while and I want to have just a little bit to sprinkle on top. And, <laughs> and mom said that she usually serves this over rice mm -hmm. or you could just do like extra chicken broth to make it like a soup uh -huh. or you could have like tortilla chips. So what do you Ooh. prefer? So many options. I know. What if we just put it in tortillas? No, silly goose, it's, a, it's like I, a chili. I think over rice is actually gonna be best. I think that'll be the perfect, that's what mom yeah. says she usually does. What if we had, do we have, um, man, I wish we had like a cilantro rice. Bunky, this is white chicken chili. But it would be good with cilantro rice. Okay, maybe. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, okay, maybe. Give it a little, I mean, you're putting salsa in there, give it a little yes, bit more I see, of, I see, the, I see. Yeah, of, the, yeah. of the juice. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. And, it has pepper jack cheese. Okay, Bunky, you're right. Work with me here, work with me here. Um, okay, what? I just gotta, this piece of cheese is bugging me. Oh my We goodness. don't need that getting all up on the top there. Okay, we'll check on this bad boy in just a couple hours. Okay, first of all, I put back on my other shirt so I don't have my tags hanging out. But y'all, this smells, does it not smell so good? Like incredible. And our chicken is fork tender, so I'm gonna go ahead and shred it up, put a little bit more of this pepper jack cheese in there, and then we're gonna go ahead and get our rice cooking. I am so hungry. Me too. So I cannot wait. And it's like 45 degrees outside. Yes, it's so cold today, y'all. I don't know where this weather came from, but I am not mad about it. I actually yeah. love it. And you know, it's been in the 80s or something, like low 70s, yeah. 70s, 80s, and then all of a sudden it's 45. Also, we have not told y'all this yet, but Bunky and I actually have to be at the airport at 5 a.m. tomorrow. So on the day that you're seeing this, We'll be in the air. We are flying to Vail, Colorado, and we are the most excited. We just want like a little romantic winter getaway. It's gonna be so much fun. And of course, we're gonna film the whole trip. So we're gonna bring you guys along with this. Monkey, this is more than just a romantic winter getaway. What is it? It's our 10 year wedding anniversary trip, you 
Forgetful little lady. <laughs> I was like, what does he want to call me? Okay, so y'all know how we went to Anchor Down for our anniversary? It was really only because that was the only week that they like had time open for this entire year. So we ended up going there, but this is like truly our 10 year anniversary trip. So it's gonna be very romantic. I am still holding out hope that it's gonna snow. And I just like cannot wait for all of like the magicalness that is Vail. This chicken is literally so tender. Yeah, don't shred it up too much, you know? You like a little bit of chunkiness? Yeah, I, wanna, I mean, we can, you know, you kind of like shred it up yourself in the- I gotta try it. You? Are going to love this. Okay, I'm gonna hold out. I'm gonna hold out oh, wow. so I can just, I mean, it smells good though. Mm, okay. That's, That's really good. You know, I almost like the fact, well, the fact that this has rice with it, not. I like the rice because it kind of gives it like a little bit more hardiness, you know? Yeah. Like yeah. substance, like depth to it. The flavor is really, really good because that pepper jack just gives you the tiniest bit of like spice, but not super spicy. Wow. And the beans absorb all that like salsa flavor too. Mm -hmm. This is delicious. Y'all have to make it. Tell us what you think. I love you guys so much. Thank you for hanging out with me for the past couple of days. I know this video had a lot of things in it, but I hope you guys loved it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Give this video a thumbs up and we'll see you guys in Vail. Bye y'all. <laughs>